cannabis was used in the Middle East for thousands of years. As medicine. Who knows, maybe for other things as well. Many of the tribes at the time used cannabis. Assyrians used it for medicine, used it for excitation, as used it in religion. The Egyptians used it as medicine. Surprisingly, the Greeks and the Romans didn't know about the uh, psychoactivity, but they used the uh, cannabis as an uh, uh, anti-inflammatory drug. Cannabis in India was used by people who want to be delivered from all worries and care. Well, that's quite a good definition of anti-anxiety. We knew that cannabis had been used for epilepsy. In the past? In the past. There is, for example, a translation of Arab story of the 15th century, and it says that one of the Arab leaders had epilepsy. Physician came over and gave him cannabis, and it cured him, but he had to take it for his entire life. So the field kind of told us, try it on epilepsy. We first tried it in animals and it worked. So at this point, we decided to go into humans. Trial took place in Sao Paulo. They had about 10 people that had epilepsy that could not be affected by the known drugs. We started giving them high doses of cannabidiol, 200 milligrams per day. And you were producing the cannabidiol from hashish? For almost 40 years, we didn't produce it. We isolated it. We separated it from hashish. Hashish contains about 4%, 5% cannabidiol. So it is really quite difficult to isolate, to obtain uh, large amounts, but we did that. We were happy to note that indeed they had no seizures while they were taking cannabidiol. And it was published and nothing happened afterwards. Ah!